Giuliani just made an outrageous and dangerous claim about Kim Jong-un on national television. Trump supposedly surrounded himself with the best people as cabinet members for his White House. If that was ever true, every single one of those hires has either been terminated or ran screaming from D.C., leaving Trump drowning in a menagerie of imbeciles. One such imbecile, Rudy Giuliani, is apparently gunning for the coveted position of primary antagonist to North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un, snatching the title from Trump himself, who once dubbed him Rocket Man in a speech in front of the UN. While speaking at an investment conference in Israel hosted by the Globe's newspaper, Giuliani told listeners Trump had cancelled the summit because senior North Korean officials insulted top Trump administration officials. They also said they were going to go to nuclear war with us, they were going to defeat us in a nuclear war, the Wall Street Journal reports Giuliani said. We said we're not going to have a summit under those circumstances. That's when Giuliani made the comment sure to anger the Northern Peninsula Supreme Leader, well, Kim Jong-un got back on his hands and knees and begged for it, which is exactly the position you want to put him in. Actually, that seems like the last place a nuke happy dictator should be. Foreign diplomacy should be handled with tact, not like a gathering of high school bullies. Under the bleachers sorting the lunch money they've stolen. The WSJ reached out to North Korea's office at the United Nations but were told no one was available to comment. Now that the summit is back on, Giuliani insists Trump has the upper hand, which once again makes him sound like the muscle in a biker gang and not legal counsel for the President of the United States. Not only has Giuliani articulated such a vivid image of how supposedly desperate a country which has, on multiple occasions, threatened nuclear war on American soil, but he didn't even specify what communication from North Korea suggested Kim was on his knees. On May 25, North Korean Foreign Ministry official Kim Kai-gwan issued a statement on the cancellation, saying, We express our willingness to sit down face to face with the US and resolve issues anytime and in any format. Expressing willingness to do something certainly doesn't sound like begging, though it stands to reason a president with an ever-growing list of sexual assault accusations would be confused by the concept of willingness. Giuliani also claimed North Korea does wish to denuclearize, in spite of their claims to the contrary, but they do want probably much too long a timetable for that. It's astonishing how far Trump and his accomplices have gotten while speaking exclusively in hypotheticals. If grab her by the PY is somehow omitted by history books as the official phrase of the Trump administration, surely I'm not sure, but we'll see could easily take its place. Something really needs to be done about these people, before it's too late.